Hello students, today we will solve the first numerical on this topic that is plane motion of rigid bodies, forces and accelerations. So let us read the statement. What he says, when the forward speed of truck shown was 30 feet per second, the brakes were suddenly applied causing all four wheels to stop rotating. It was observed that the truck skidded to rest in 20 feet find the magnitude of the normal reaction and of the friction force at each wheel as the truck skidded to rest. So this particular diagram is given to us, truck is shown and uh, its center of gravity is shown, some distances are shown that uh, distance of uh, the rear wheel from center of gravity is at 5 feet, distance of front wheel from center of gravity is at 7 feet and uh, uh, the height of center of gravity from the surface is 4 feet. So what he says that when the forward speed of the truck shown was 30 feet means when the speed of the truck was 30 feet per second the brakes were suddenly applied. So what happened because of that causing all four wheels to stop rotating. So what happens next it was observed that truck skidded to rest in 20 feet. It means from this particular statement we learned that now the motion is translation motion means the brakes were suddenly applied causing all four wheels to stop rotating trucks skidded to rest so it is a skidding so first step is we should draw the free body of this particular uh, uh, problem so how to draw the free body so first of all you have to represent the truck then after that you will show the surface then the first force to represent at its center of gravity is the weight acting in downward direction so in the question the weight of the truck is not given so we are right now assuming it as W. Then uh, on the rear wheels and on the front wheels we have assumed two reactions NA and NB. Remember NA is the reaction for both rear wheels and NB is the reaction for both front wheels. And uh, over here he is saying that truck skidded to rest. It means uh, some friction is also acting so on both the wheels we have shown the friction acting towards left that is opposite to the motion of the truck which is towards right. So we have labeled the reactions at front and uh, rear wheels. We have labeled the frictions also at front and rear wheels. Then we have labeled the weight. So these are the only forces acting on the truck in this particular problem. So this particular force system is responsible for what? See earlier the truck was traveling at a speed of 30 feet per second when brakes were applied. So after the application of brake what will happen truck is skidding. So, so uh, during that uh, motion what will happen uh, the retardation of the truck will happen because of uh, these this friction force. So it means this particular system force system is equivalent to retardation of the truck. So uh, uh, acceleration vector is attached to this particular uh, center of gravity of the truck in opposite direction because uh, skidding means retardation because of the friction force. Now it means what equation we are getting summation f is equal to ma. Okay so as uh, we have learned in the uh, topic which we have covered in the previous video that is plane motion of rigid body force and accelerations that three equations will be applicable summation fx is equal to summation f effective summation fy is equal to summation f effective similarly summation m is equal to summation m effective. So let us apply these equations one by one to this particular problem as well. So first of all we are applying equation summation f y is equal to summation f y effective. So what is the meaning of this? The meaning of this equation is that uh, whatever forces are acting on the truck in y direction add those forces and let and see what is the effect they are producing on the truck and uh, equate both. Now you see in this particular truck there are three forces which are acting in vertical direction Na, Nb and W and uh, one more thing to understand that truck is not moving in along vertical direction truck is only moving along horizontal direction it means summation F that is Na plus Nb minus W is equal to zero because there is no motion along vertical. So you see summation F y equal to Na and B both are acting in upward direction taken positive this is acting in downward direction taken negative equal to 0. So from this equation we get our first equation that is Na plus Nb equal to W. Now in this equation you see all three uh, variables are unknown to us so we can't solve it just leave over here only and call it as equation 1. Now let us apply the next equation that is summation fx is equal to summation fx effective. So let us see how many x direction forces are there only two 
F A F B both are acting towards left. So in the equation, they, they, these are taken as negative minus F A minus F B. Now this particular uh, these two forces are responsible for what retard for retardation. So summation F is equal to M A. So that is equal to minus M A because it is retardation acting in opposite direction to the motion. So from this equation, what we will get convert F A equal to mu N A because friction force is equal to mu n so this will be equal to mu k n a plus mu k n b why we are taking mu k because truck is in motion is equal to m a so we will get rid of negative sign because on both sides we have negative values so after this take mu k common so keep n a and b inside the bracket this will be equal to m will be converted into weight because we have weight we are assuming at the start of the truck uh, at the start of the numerical that is w so we don't have mass of the truck so convert mass into weight so that will be equal to w by g into acceleration a so what is the next step you see na plus nb this value this is equal to w we have already found in the first equation so we will replace this term by w so finally what we get we will get mu k w is equal to w g put the value of g over here the value of g will be 32.2 why because the all the uh, units are in feet per second so in feet the value of g is 32.2 so multiply by a now w will cancel out so what we will left with mu k is equal to a by 32.2 now you see in this particular equation we have a variable acceleration which we don't know so now we have to think how we can find this variable now let us see the problem again if you observe this problem carefully when brakes are applied then uh, uh, truck will skid so truck will skid along a straight line so uniform retardation will, will be there it means that after applying the brake the motion is uniformly accelerated motion it means all those three equations are applicable that is v, uh, v equal to u plus at v square minus u square is equal to 2as or u, s is equal to ut plus half at square so from those three equations we have to see what which equation will be helpful for us according to the given data so that we should be able to calculate a now in this case time is not given it means v equal to u plus at we can't use then next is u, s is equal to ut plus half at square in that equation also time is there so we can't use that equation as well so we are left with only one option that is v square minus u square is equal to 2s because in this equation time is not there so in each final velocity of the truck is zero because after skidding because of friction truck will stop fine so initial velocity was how much when brakes were applied the initial velocity was 30 feet per second so initial velocity is 30 feet per second is equal to 2a into what distance truck has covered after the application of brake that is 20 meters it is given in the question over here mm. yes over here to rest in 20 feet so put value of s 20 so from here we will get a retardation that is 22.5 put that value over here so you will get the value of mu k from this particular equation okay now what is the third equation we are left with we are left with third equation that is take moment of all the forces about any particular point and equate that equal to what effect that is producing on the system fine so let us take the moment about a so how many total number of forces are there 1 2 3 4 5 out of these 5 forces how many uh, will we will take in this particular equation that is summation m now you see moment center is a so these two forces and this particular force fb fa and a these are intersecting with the moment center so moment because of these forces will be zero so we are only left with w and nv now you see w will produce clockwise moment so let us take it negative so what is the distance between w and moment center it is 5 then nb and we will generate anti-clockwise moment so it will be positive so distance between nb and moment center is 7 plus 5 that is 12 so now you see what we are writing over here we are writing minus w because w will produce clockwise moment negative w into what is the perpendicular distance over here it should be 5 not 4 into 5 it is given 5 in the problem so after that we have nb nb will generate anti-clockwise moment so taken as positive nb what is the distance 12 7 plus 5 12 equal to what equal to summation ma effective what is the effect of this force effect of these this force system is ma bar that is the vector towards left 
so we have to calculate the moment because of this vector about a as well so this is what we are doing ma bar into the perpendicular distance so distance between this vector and a is this vertical distance that is given over here is 4 so we have placed that value over here so from this particular equation you will see that uh, m can be converted into w by g so over here m is converted into w by g g in feet per second square is equal to 32.2 into what is the acceleration this acceleration we have already calculated put that value into 4 now take this particular term on right hand side plus it is it will be 5w not 4 it will be 5w then divide this particular equation by 12 so you will get value of nb so now when you will solve this particular equation you will get value of nb in terms of w that is a variable and we don't have any information in the quotient regarding the weight of the truck so our answer for the normal reaction will be in terms of w only so this is the first answer then we will say put this value of nb in equation 1 so we will get value of na fine because what we are asked in the question to find we were asked to find the magnitudes of the normal reaction so what are those reactions na nv so we have found na and nv so what, what is the next thing to find in the problem he says friction force at each wheel so that is fa fb so how to find fa f is equal to mu n mu k na so mu k we have already calculated na we have just calculated fine put these values so we will get value of fa then similarly we will get value of fb by using the equation mu k nb now one thing to understand over here that these values which we are finding over here for normal pressure at B, normal pressure at A, friction force at A and friction force at B, these are for two wheels because this NA is for both rear wheels, NB is for both front wheels, similarly FA is for both rear wheels, FB is for both front wheels. But what we are asked to find? at each wheel it means whatever value of nb na fa fb you will get you will divide those values by 2 then we can say we got our answer because these values are for both wheels right but we are asked in the question to find at each wheel so whatever value you will get for nb na fa fb divide those values by 2 to get the values at each wheel. I hope this particular numerical is clear to you. Thank you very much.